the Government Revenue Data Set provides a, a more complete and consistent source of tax and revenue data for, for researchers to access. And compared to any other single source, the coverage is significantly better, particularly for developing countries. The first innovation that we're able to, to offer is that we're able to show what a country's revenue picture looks like both with and without revenues that come from natural resources. The second thing is that we're also able to present tax revenues both inclusive and exclusive of social security contributions. And this is important due to the different ways in that different countries collect social security contributions and also the ways that they're reported across different sources. A third improvement is much more data, much more rich data for developing countries, which other sources have previously lacked and which is of utmost importance for researchers working on development economics and tax policy in developing countries. The final improvement that we're able to make is that throughout the data where there are perhaps inconsistencies or things that researchers might not really be able to explain, we've annotated the data and provided notes and some potential warnings when the data is slightly unreliable or perhaps needs a little more interpretation. This data set is freely available on the UNU Wider website for researchers, policymakers and the general public to access. Previous research findings can now be called into question or replicated. Previously we had a situation where researchers were perhaps constructing their own ad hoc data sets based on various different international sources, which made comparability and replicability across studies very difficult. It's very important that users trust that we have made the correct source choices and provided the best interpretation of the data and we do help to guide users with their use of the data. Hopefully with the Government Revenue Dataset, the, the policy advice will be based on findings from developing countries and then given to developers.